Sarah. Downstairs, grab me. Sarah. Please, please. Oh, I'll sort oh. this. Dad. Sarah, open the door. I only want to talk to her. You bastard. No! Sam, any sign of the victim? No, I've got a witness who says he saw him holding his arm as he ran off. So hospital's on alert? Oh, yeah, on a mind. So what have you gotten him? Uh, Terry Sean Dyer, released five days ago after a 12 stretch. Murdered a Mark Randall, aged 18 in 1996. Mark Randall being our shooter's son? Yeah, Dyer denies it, but he was caught red-handed. The father saw him. Charles Brunson came down yet, have he? Oh, yeah, for me, he's cleared him for interview. They're taking him through now. Great, well, let's do him. Hi, can I join you? This one too big for us, is it? Now, the DAC want this kid gloved. The press are swarming. I feel I'm aware of that. I'd like to hear what he's going to say, do you mind? Mm. I've got an address for Dyer from his parole officer. It's a bail hostel on Dalston Lane. Great, uh, Satch, go with him. Take some backup, yeah? Right, the rest of you, I want you to get Dyer's description circulated, please. Now, remember, we don't know if he's armed, we don't know if he's dangerous, so please err on the side of caution, understand? Mr. Randall, I'm Chief Superintendent Mike Walker. This is Chief Inspector Roisin Connor. Finally. Can I go now? Not really an option. I was attacked in my own home. So you also shot a man, Mr. Randall. <laughs> he was trying to hurt my daughter. Is she all right? I'm sure she'll be fine. What? You don't know her? I think you should be more worried about yourself. He went out early this morning. I haven't seen him since. Mr. Dyer. Mr. Dyer, it's the police. Okay. Oh, we've missed him. He's gone. Do a local sweep, you may not run far, yeah? Let's go! It's Saj. Look at this. Stuff from his trial. Massive. OK, well, let's talk about the gun. Is this necessary? It's an illegal firearm, Mr. Randall. Where did you get it? <sighs> Ex-army mate. I've had it for years. Never used it, never even thought of using it. What was his name? <laughs> I'm hardly going to tell you that, am I? OK, you say Dyer wanted to hurt Sarah. He did. Well, how can you be so sure? He attacked her down on the estate. She was lucky she's escaped. Well, you see, according to Sarah's statement, he... Grabbed her by the arm. Now, that's a little short of an attack. He battered my front door down to get at her. Why didn't you call us? There wasn't enough time. Oh, was he armed? I don't know. So you shot an unarmed man? For Christ's sake, he murdered my son, then turns up after my daughter? Why would he want to hurt her? Ah. Oh. Must have been one hell of a shock, him turning up like that. <sighs> it's Sarah I'm thinking about. Dyer scum. Sarah went to pieces after he killed her brother. God alone knows what this is going to do to her. Ken, the problem we have with this is we don't know whether Dyer was armed and we don't know why he came round. He was after Sarah! Sit down, Mr. Randall. 
Sarah says that when Dyer got into your hallway, he said he wanted to talk. When I pointed the gun at him, hi. But what if that was the truth? Oh, come off it. Ken, you shot a potentially unarmed man with an illegal firearm. It's attempted murder. <laughs> You're saying I could go to prison? It's possible. Mike, we should have pushed him further. He wanted to kill Dar. He's good as said it. Yeah, that wouldn't help on the court. I'm sorry, why are we helping him? He's just a father protecting his daughter. Mike, he just shot a man. I'm releasing him pending further inquiries. You are not serious. He's alleging it was self-defense. You have no victim. Discharging an illegal firearm. Attempted murder, Mike. You want to charge him? You find Dyer. Right now, I've got to talk to the press. Right, what have we got? Still no sign of Dyer. We're checking for friends and family. Uh, father's unknown. Mother just signed him when he was found guilty. I've just spoken to prison records. Dyer had no visitors and no letters either. What, in 12 years? What did he want with the daughter? Yeah, we don't know. The father showed him before he had a chance to explain. Yeah, very helpful. Got a sighting in Stepney. Dyer turned up at somebody's door asking for a nick. Nick who? I uh, don't know. Local boys are there. Dyer's long gone. Hang on a second. Back in 96, Dyer blamed a Nick someone for the murder. He said he'd had a, a row with the dead boy before he was killed. Nick Fisher. So the alibi checked out. We pursued no further. What address did Dyer turn up at? Uh, 27 Stepney Place. He's going through the phone book. Stepney Place is second on the list. And how many? Uh, 10. You guys better find Nick Fisher before Dyer does. Why do you think Dyer came round, Mr. Walker? We're not sure. Do you know when he was first arrested, he insisted he was innocent. <laughs> you saw him, didn't you? <laughs> saw enough. Dyer had the bottle. It was covered in Mark's wood. It's not something you forget. I can imagine. I thought he was going to kill Sarah, too. She must mean a lot to you. Come on, let's get your lift home. Go check, see if anyone's seen Dar. Lottie. <laughs> Dave Satchel. Long time, mate. You two know each other? What is ex job? We were at Camley Street together. Can we come in, please? Yeah, sure. I only ever knew him as Chips, yeah? How you doing? I'm good, brother. I'm good. <laughs> come in. Cam, was your daughter friends with Terry Dyer? Before the murder, I mean. Dyer was rough. Out of control. Never saw the father. And the mother didn't give a toss, if you could tell. What about Nick Fisher? Remember him? Not really. Dyer's trying to find him. Why would you do that? I was hoping you could tell me. No way those two were mates. When he was arrested, Dyer said that Fisher and your son had a fight. This was a couple of days before Mark was murdered. I didn't know that. Yeah, Dyer reckons the fight was over Sarah. You'd have thought Dyer'd want to keep his head down. He tried to blame me for the murder, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, but he picked the wrong guy. I was working that night. Used to do shifts stacking shells at a supermarket. So in a statement, he mentioned a fight between you and Mark. <sighs> it was nothing. I mean, I, I I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but Mark was an aggressive little sod. Took after his father. What was Ken Randall violent then? Ex-army, wasn't he? he? Scared the hell out of me. Mark wanted to be just like him. But he tried to take me on. I just I just walked away. Do you think Sarah might have any idea what Dyer's up to? No. Oh. Why should she? Leave her, please. There's your car, Ken. Somebody be around to fix your panic alarm. Dyer appears to use it. Thanks. And you don't know why Terry Dyer would want to see you. You really think he's dangerous? Mm, we have to assume so, yeah. Daddy! Hello, mate! <laughs> How you doing? Did you get the shopping done? No. Uh, no! <laughs> it's my wife, Lee. 
Nice to meet you. You're police, right? Yeah, Dave here was in the force with me. Oh, I thought something could happen. Yeah, well, it sort of has. Um, that guy that's on the run, I think he's trying to find me. Why would he want to do that? Look, are you uh, sure you haven't seen him? Oh, my God. He was on the corner. Where? By the news agents. Finn dropped Sebi and he picked it up for him. Uh, excuse me. This is um, Finn there. Oh, thanks. Thank it's you. Right yeah. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We won't let anything happen. It's fine. No, we would have seen our cars and legged at a real setter. Look, panic alarm's on its way. It's been up here, won't we? Yeah. I'm sure you two are going to be all right. We'll be here in minutes, yeah? Look, I'll pop back into shift. I'm going to catch up, yeah? Cheers, mate. See you later. Dyer is looking for Nick Fisher, he's got to at least have been there. Yeah, one of the fathers adamant Dyer did it. He saw him holding the weapon. But in his original statement, Dyer insisted he was innocent. You know, most of the prison population do that, don't they? What did Nick Fisher think? Well, he hasn't got a clue. He says he barely knew Dyer. We need to talk to the daughter again. Yeah, not tonight, huh? Wake me! Are you okay? Fine. I'll make us some tea. Sit down. What? Sit down, Sarah. Why didn't I know? We were just mucking about. You're kissing him. I was being silly. Nick Fisher. Did you have sex with him? No. Did you? Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. <laughs> he made you, didn't he? It wasn't like that. He's the same age as your brother, for fuck's sake, Sarah. He never hurt me. You were 13 years of age. A child. Why didn't you talk to me? I'd have sorted him. I liked him, Dad. Your brother found out, didn't he? Warned him off. Why didn't the pair of you talk to me? Mark said he'd handle it. I was drunk, wasn't I? Of course you were drunk. You were always drunk ever since you got back. That's why Mum left. Nobody could talk to you then. Not me, not Mark. <laughs>
of air, check where the hospitals are all still on alert. Anything else? Well, not unless Dyer shows himself now. No, well, I promised Nick Fisher I'd drop by, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Night, Sedge. Night, Mike. Seen this? Oh, the people's bloody hero. Good job it released him then. You got anything on Dyer? Hmm? Got a wish, Mike. Oh, he can't just disappear. You told him that, have you? No way! No way! Paul, what are you doing here? Who the hell's he? I've got no idea. Oh, hang on. Um, but he's certainly popular. Dad, no! Please don't do this! <coughs> it's been four years now! Don't you Dad. dare tell me what to do! Fisher must be part of this. You saw Dyer kill Mark, not Fisher. I didn't see him stab Mark. He was there, but I didn't see him kill him. you got to stop this. Fisher knows something. No, Dad, he doesn't. Dyer's trying to find him. No, Nick wasn't involved. Dad, no, please. You no. should have told me what that bastard was up to with you. No wonder Mark had a go at him. Yeah, you're right there! Myself. I needed to feed the wife's credit card of it, and that was before Finn was around. She expensive, is she? Mm -hmm. Just a bit. <laughs> I believe she let you out. Ah, oh, she knows me too well. Allows her with stress, I needed the point. <laughs> so, um, when Lee lets you go down the pub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't know it's here. Spot on, mate, you should be a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Dave. Yet? Uh, it's probably tucked up somewhere safe for the night. Got another one of those? Oh. Yeah. Thought you had a better offer. That's no, not what you think. Paul's my little brother, Mike. What? Hmm. <laughs> God, you really had them going. Not you, though, hey? So where is he? Uh, I give him the keys to my flat. I'm going to meet him there. What's wrong? Hmm? Uh, my dad is dying. Oh, Rasheen, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. There's no need. No need. He's got um, cancer, apparently. It's in his bones, spread to his liver. Paul just came to get me. So why didn't he phone? Oh, he knows me too well. You get on well, you and your dad. Roisin. Mm hmm. Come and sit down. Sure. You know, the last time I saw him, Mike, I. I tried so hard. I tried so, I tried so fucking hard. And all he did was uh, tear strips off me for doing the washing up. For the washing up, Mike. And you had to go back at him? Mm-hmm. 
We haven't spoken since. Coy do is argue. I mean, he doesn't need that right now. You know, imagine the scene. Hi, Dad. Here you're dying. Fancy a round might speed things up. <laughs> he might just surprise you. He doesn't need me right now. He doesn't even like me. What do you need? Nothing. I've moved on. I've got my life here. Moved on or run away? He's your dad, Roisin, and he's dying, and you should be there. <sighs> I don't, don't know. Thanks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cheers. It's a married life suit, you know? Yeah, well, a moment. <laughs> Comes with a territory, doesn't it? And especially now I've got a kid. Ah, so your sex life's as good as mine, isn't it? <laughs> you sure you're gonna go to work? Ah, oh, I promised the client, didn't I? Well, you've had a few. Ah, oh, I've done it on more, mate, believe me. Besides, it's just me up there. Oh, right, so a little nap won't go with me. Oi! Right? You bastard! Oh, wait, Mr. Randall. I thought you'd got away with it, didn't oh, you? Wait, 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 what is this about? Sarah! Oh, that was a very long time ago. She was 13, a little oh, kid! Oh, yeah, I was oh, being oh, a kid as well! She was underage! You took advantage! Right, okay, it wasn't like that, okay? She pushed herself on me. She was. Oi! 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 Mark should have finished you off. Oh, well, he had a good go, didn't he? What is this all about? Ask him, the pervert. Right, when we were younger, Sarah and I saw each other for a while. Piece of shit! Oi, Mr. Randall, please! Turns you on, does it? Little girls. Oh, she wasn't that little. She was a child! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. All right? I'm not finished. Yeah, well, I am. I'm sorry, okay? So let's Why does Daya want to see you? How should I know? Daya saw you and Mark fighting. So? So? Did you go back to get them? Did you and Daya sort out Mark together? What? I need to know! Look, Mr. Randall! Nick had an alibi. It was checked at the time. He wasn't there. So why does I want him, huh? It's to do with Mark. It has to do Oi, Come on, no, look, you have to go on now, yeah? Get out of me! Oi, last chance, or I arrest oh. you, and you get locked up, all right? Now go home. Sleep it off. Go on. I want answers, Fisher. You listen. Go home. Thanks, mate. Why don't you tell me about Sarah? She was 13. Well, I'm not surprised you had a go. OK, I was 17, Satch, all right? I'm not proud of it. It doesn't make me a pedo, does it? Yeah, all right. You sure you don't know why Dad wants to speak to you? Honestly, Dave, mate, I ain't got a clue. Lee? Yes, it's me. Where are you? I was on a, um, another call. Living room, nice? Yeah, no, it's taken longer than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, are you okay? Finn just said that he really misses you. Oh, well, um, give him a kiss from me, will you? Yeah, okay.
Well, I was going to have to arrest him. Did you take him home? Well, I didn't want to leave Fisher, did I? Amanda was pissed. Uh, I'll need to give him a call. Let him know what happens if he gets into any more trouble. Yeah, I already did that. He's fine, honestly. What the hell are you doing here? Running away, Mike. Is that what you want him to remember? Roisin, my father died and I wasn't there. Did you regret it? I hated him. I hated him more than anything. But yes, yes, I should have been there. He won't even notice. Yes, he will, and so will you. Go on, bugger off. The sooner you go, the sooner you get back. No question, beat it. Night, was it? I thought... Goodbye. Satchel. Sam, the guy last night was Roisin's brother. Are you sure? And her father's dying. Okay. Oh, shit. Nick Fisher's activated the panic alarm. We'll get over there. No, 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 no. There's no need. You just... <sighs> All right, well, just bring me up a bacon sarnie, then. Lee, sweetheart, please, stop worrying. Yeah, Dave's right here with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you later. I love you. Sure you're all right? Don't you start. Listen, mate, I better moat or I must have slept most of the night. If I lose this contract, it's on your head. How many times do we have to miss this guy? Well, uniform went out in seconds. So how did he get away? Well, he's obviously fit. Oh, I've got a press conference in an hour, Sam. I'll mention that to them, shall I? We could put a watch on Fisher. Now we have got a manpower. We lost a DCI, remember? Oh, well, let's just hope her father dies quickly, then. We'll be at least a month from it. What? Well, he's got to die, yeah? Then there's a funeral or whatever. Oh, Jesus. Nick Fisher's activated the panic alarm again. I'm going this time. Satch, let's catch this bastard. It's Dave. It's not locked. Oh. Oh. You got anything? Might have if someone hadn't moved the body. 
We couldn't get in. Multiple stab wounds. Yeah, I could have told you that. Attack mostly happened over here. Blood's gone a long way. Here, here. Used a lot of force. Frenzied comes to mind. Drag himself to the panic alarm, collapses by the door, and bleeds to death. Yeah, no sign of a break in. Well, there wouldn't be. Why? Looks like your victim made his killer a coffee. What? Kettle was still warm when I arrived. Two cups. I'll rush them through. You think you know who did this, don't you? Yeah, but I can't understand why he would let him in. Could have tricked him. Yeah, tricking's one thing, Jean. Coffee's another. Well, I'd say the argument started here, which is why the coffee's all over the place. So the coffee was made? The first blow spilt it? Not 100%, but... First injury, possibly a cut to the arm. Shit! Coffee spilt. And the blood tracks lead us back to here. He knew all the victims on the floor at this point. So he fell. <laughs> then the rest of the attack. <laughs> I still don't know why he let him in. I'm glad to say that's your problem. Is she beside you? Yeah, and a WPC. I've called her parents. They're on their way. What about the kid? Oh, he was at nursery, thank God. Now, I'll get back to the instant room. Keep the pressure on. Is there anything else we should do? Satch. She's all over the place. Yeah, I heard. Looks like Nick let him in. What? Why would he do that? Leon, Chief Superintendent Mike Walker. I'm really sorry. Do you want some tea? That's Nick's. I think got it from Father's Day. Let me. No!
Loads of prints, but none of them are dyers yet. Great. It's good that we got him, though. Now that we can't put him at the murder scene. You up for questioning? Yeah. Mike. I thought I'd be interviewing. Nick Fisher's a friend. Yeah, that's all the more reason, isn't it? Sorry, Satch. Got to get this one right. Don't want any cries of bias from the CPS. Years. It should have been his. You're suggesting that he killed Mark Randall? We had a motive. I didn't. <laughs> you were tried and found guilty, son. Mark's father saw you covered in his son's blood. You were still holding the bottle that killed him. It was the wrong place. Wrong time. Do you think anyone's going to believe that? That's why I wanted to talk to Fisher. To make him own up. With a knife. Oh, what's the fucking point? Terry. Huh? This isn't going to help. It makes no difference. Hmm? Look at him, look. I did it, didn't I? Huh? Is that a confession? I didn't confess last time. I still got life. Where were you for about 10 a.m. this morning, Mr. Dale? Terry. Terry, you have to help yourself. Now you told me. Tell them. There's no fucking point! All right? Try. Caught some buses. <laughs> oh. I got a few cats. Oh, what buses? Where'd you buy your cats? What bus stop? What shop? I can't remember. Do you remember being outside Nick Fisher's work this morning? Come on, Terry. We've got witnesses, two of whom were police officers. I wanted to talk to Fisher, didn't I? So, yeah, I was there. Why did you run? Because you want to lock me up! I'm not fucking stupid! But you went back there later, didn't you? No. No, I didn't, you see? Huh? Nick Fisher's dead, Terry. Multiple stab wounds. Looks like a new his killer. That's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? I will prove it then! Hey, go on! Yeah. I intend to, son, and I don't think it's going to take me very long. In his possession, he's got an oyster card, so check it out. He wasn't on a bus. No. Well, let's prove he wasn't. We should keep going. He's clammed up. Look, if we don't get him on something, he's going to walk. What do you want me to do? Beat a confession out oh, of himself? We all know he did it. Let me interview him. No. Anyone's going to rattle his cage, it'll be me, sir. So what the fuck are you doing out here, then? Maybe you should go home, Satch. You might handle this a bit better with a bit of distance. I know this is hardly. Lee. This is pointless. I really can't remember. Try, please. Look, you walk towards Nick's office, yeah? It was busy. 
cars passing, lots of people. Yeah, and you saw someone by the bins? Nick's dead. I know. I can't think, OK? Lee, we really need this. But you know who did it? Dyer. We've got him locked up. Nobody saw him. And we've got no forensics. So he could walk. I need you to remember. Who oh, by the means I grasp, but I don't know. Oh, come on, Lee. I don't know, right? I want to help, but... OK, so this person, what, what were they wearing? What do they look like? Oh, come on, Lee. You saw him. Hey, <laughs> me. So this man was by the bins. Yes, but he had his back to me. But he was definitely wearing combat clothes. This really helps, Lee. Well, we can do a lot of things, Sans, but we can't bring back a dead. Hey, another one of those might help. Yeah, all right. Sam, you're just in time. You're around. I don't think you'll be wanting another drink. Why, what's happened? The Oyster card. Yeah, yeah, what about it? We've checked the journeys made against the bus footage. We've got Dyer at 11.30 standing at a bus stop in Paddington. No way. Paddington's too far away. Exactly. Dyer couldn't have murdered Nick Fisher. We've got the wrong man. Twelve years of my life. Hmm? I've got nothing. No family. No friends. Nothing. I've waited all this time. I want a chance. That's all. A life. I got it wrong. But you said Terry Dyer killed Nick. You stood right there and told me. I'm sorry. You lied to me! I thought it was him. We all did. So who did kill Nick? We don't know yet. How can you promise something like that and be so wrong? No, I'm sorry, all right? How could you? I think we better go. Yeah, I think you better had. We'll keep you up to date with any developments. Look, she's pissed off because I promised we got him. That's all. Oh, is it? We all thought Dyer was the killer. Yeah, but you're the one who got the statement out of her. Yeah. Oh, you fucking idiot. If this gets out... It won't. She'll calm down. Yeah, or she'll make a complaint. 
What about you? <sighs> You're in enough shit without me stirring it. Walker's not going to turn a blind eye, though. So you don't accept that your officers behaved inappropriately? Your client's been released in that school. Satch. That's Dyer's solicitor. I'd like to see all related paperwork, unless you have something to hide, that is. Find a new cause, have we? Something to get yourself noticed. Anything you wish to have a look at, I'm sure we can assist. I should warn you. I want the Mark Randall murder reviewed. Cool. You really are ambitious, aren't you? He was wrongly convicted. Huh. You want that case reopened? I'm not the one to ask. You can speed the process, though. As far as I'm concerned, Teddy Dyer had a fair trial and was convicted. So I can't count on your support? I think you know the answer to that one. I'll be seeing you again, Mr. Walker. I really look forward to it, Ms. Clarkson. Okay. We got everyone? We're in a hell of a mess. We're the ones that made it. We've been chasing the wrong guy. That is an unfortunate fact, yes? Search. Tell him about Ken Randall. Oh, um... Night before he died, uh, I was out with Nick Fisher. Ken Randall had a pop at him. Oi! 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 Last chance, or I arrest oh. you, and you get locked up, all right? You're joking. Well, Randall was drunk. We told him that Dyer was looking for Fisher, and he thought it was to do with his son's murder. So he's a suspect? He's got to be. Yeah, it doesn't mean he's a killer, Sam. No, but we're still going to pick him up, though. Yeah, we are. Satch, go with him. The rest of you stay focused. I want forensics chased, CCTV trolled, Anyone near Nick Fisher's place of work question again? Claire, I want to recheck everything we've got in Terry Dyer. Yeah. Now, when? Yeah, make it as soon as possible, please, sir. Yeah, we're under a lot of pressure. Thanks. I'll take my car, yeah? I'll give him, uh, 15 tops. As soon as he sees Lee Fisher's statement, Dad. he'll know. Sam, just... Sit down. Why? What have you done? Search back. Oh, 20 minutes. I was close. He's hardly going to go away, sir. No, let's just do what we've got to do. Yeah. I did it for Mark. It was you. It's all right, love. I had to. Tell the truth. I had, I had nothing to do with it. What, like you had nothing to do with my daughter? It's over now. But, Nick, this is wrong. I didn't go there to kill him. I need you to understand that. Is that ours? I needed him to tell me what he'd done. You took it with you. Oh, my Sarah, please. You had sex with her. 
fine little girl. He wasn't like that. He wouldn't listen, Sarah. He only had to tell the truth. Oh, scum! Last chance. Tell me about Mark. Fuck, where are I didn't want this. I didn't. It's all right, love. I had to. It's not your fault. We'll think of something. No, Sarah. It's the right thing. It's not. It's so not. They'll lock you up. It doesn't matter. Mark's had justice. He hasn't. Nick didn't kill Mark. Gaia didn't do it, love. I was wrong about that. But Nick didn't. I know he didn't. Don't. Bastard deserved it. Mr. Ronald, can you open the door, please? Stay quiet. Please need posting. It's the bills up to date. <laughs> I forgot we'd run out of stumps. No. Man, the police. We need to talk to you. This tape, Sarah. Dad, I can't lose you. You'll be all right. We'll say you are with me, time. yeah? That's what we would do. We were, we were in all morning watching telly, yeah? You'll get me army pension. I'll sort it out somehow. No, Dad, listen. We were watching a DVD. A Saving Private Ryan. Sarah. We love it. Sarah, no. First 20 minutes when they pull up on the beaches. Dad. You've got to remember, they're going to ask you. Dad, read the back. Mr. Randall, can you open the door, please? Sarah, <laughs> you've got to be strong. <laughs> Mr. Randall! Be proud of Mark. Be proud of me. <laughs> no, Dad. Dad, please. Go on. Take it. It's what I used to kill Nick Fisher. Is that a weapon? Yeah, he just handed it to us. Yeah, okay, Sam, we'll interview him as soon as he's booked in. Satch. Okay, Satch, yes or no? Did you help Lee Fisher identify Dyer? What do you want me to say? I'll try the truth. I'm not a bent cop, and like you know I'm not. Coercing a witness? Framing a man for murder? What the hell were you thinking about, well, We Sash? had nothing. So you made something up? Yeah, I thought it was him. So did I. Jesus, Sash, what a place to put me in. This gets out, you won't just lose your job. You could go to prison, you know that? Yeah, well, you won't know that, will you? Oh, really? Who says I won't? If I don't turn this in, Satch, it's more than just your ass on the line. So what are you going to do? Right now, I haven't got a fucking clue. You put your faith in me, Mr. Walker. You let me go. I did. Yes. I'm sorry to have let you down. Let me down? You've killed a man. You do know that, don't you, Ken? It was the right thing. How can it be right, Ken? How can killing a man be right? Nick Fisher killed my son. Oh, you thought it was Teddy Dyer, remember? You shot him. Who's next, huh? Want to take a pop at me? I was wrong about Dyer. I hold my hands up to that. He didn't do it. Dyer was found guilty. You saw him at the crime scene. He even gave evidence at his trial, for Christ's sakes. Poor kid was innocent. I know that now. Have you got any evidence for that? Any proof? Fisher was a coward. He let Terry Dyer serve his time. Well, how can you be so sure? Scum was having it off with my daughter. It doesn't mean he killed your son. Mark found out about it. He tried to stop them. It still doesn't mean Nick Fisher killed your son. He was 17. 
your Lucero is only 13. Ken. That's no proof. someone. Who? Ken Randall. He's so... Yeah, around. I know who he is. He's confessed to killing Nick. <gasps> he was the one who had a go at Nick on the street. Nick told you? He said he and the daughter had a stupid snog when they were kids. That can't be why he did it. his son's murder. What, so he kills my husband? Yeah. Are you saying he's mad or something? Well, he lost his son, didn't he? And then he finds out about Nick and his daughter. That was years ago. Nick's not a... <sighs> well, I mean, he was just a kid too. I think it was just the final straw. Am I supposed to feel sorry for him? Of course not. I... Sometimes it helps to understand. He's going to prison, though, isn't he? Yeah. That bastard should be strung up. Yeah. He'll go down. I promise. I'm glad you got him. Yeah. Oh, that's been waking up. It never stops, does it? Lee. About Terry Dyer. Look, forget it, Dave. I better go, yeah? Get, look, they're asking questions. They want to know how you managed to identify him. Am I in trouble? No. But you are. If it comes out. I know I've got no right to ask. You've got enough on your plate as it is. You want me to make something up? Yeah, well, it won't be easy. The way you described his clothes was spot on. Dave, tell me what to say and I'll say it. I left the room, you opened the file and got Dyer's clothing description from there. OK, not honestly. Yeah. Thanks, Lee. Save my life. So, you tricked your way in. Fisher buzzed me up. How did you get him to do that? Told him I wanted to apologise. He was loving it. He even made me a coffee. Then you stabbed him. He deserved it. How can you know he killed your son? He did. He made his alibi up. And your proof is... For Christ's sake, he's scum. He was screwing a 13-year-old girl. No, 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 this doesn't make sense, Ken. Look, let's go back to the beginning. You stated you saw Terry Dyer standing over your son, Mark. You saw Terry Dyer holding the weapon, the bottle that killed Mark. You saw it, didn't you? Terry Dyer holding the weapon. I got it wrong. I must have. What if you didn't? Nick Fisher killed Mark. Except you didn't see Nick standing over your son's body. It was Dyer. You stood up in court and said so. No, no. Nick Fisher murdered my son. But you're not sure, are you? You can't be. Nick Fisher had a wife and a son. Fisher killed my son. Even if he did, they don't deserve this, do they? You've been there, Mr. Randall. You know exactly how his wife's feeling. Why the hell didn't you call us? I just wanted to end it! Whoever killed your son, Ken, this isn't justice. You got a minute? 
You must be knackered. Cut the crap, Satch. What do you want? I talked to Lee Fisher. You what? Well, she needed to know who murdered her husband, didn't she? And uh, what else did you talk to her about? If anyone asks, she's going to confirm I left my file. I went out and she left it Dye's description. So now you're putting pressure on her to perjure herself, not to mention perverting the course of justice. It won't come out. Dye didn't kill Nick, there won't be a trial, will there? No, thanks to you. He's a convicted killer, Mike. You're sure about that, are you, Satch? What? If Dyer was the fucking Antichrist, what you did was wrong. Oh, look, I tried to get a killer locked up. Oh, come on. Jesus. Look, I got it wrong. But you of all people, Mike, you can't send me down for one mistake, can you? What a hell of a mistake, Satch! But what about you? It was your call to release Ken Randall, wasn't it? How was that the same? Okay, I fucked up, but I made an error of judgment. It was not corrupt. Was it? Please, mate, this doesn't need to come out. Dyer's solicitor has requested all the paperwork surrounding his arrest. We don't need to give it to her, do we? If we don't, it looks like we've got something to hide. You better pray that Lee Fisher sticks to our story. You've got some front. What? Just dropped in to make sure I'm still inside of you. I said I lie for you and I meant it. Yeah, I came to pay my respects, yeah. Nick was a good man. You don't want to lose your job over him though, do you? <sighs> yeah, go on. Go back to what you do so well. Lee, look, I didn't want any of this to happen. You know, if I could have stopped it, then I would have. You didn't though, did you? Nick's dead. Look at him. Well, go on, you can hardly miss him. I've got the rest of my life to get through. And then what? Funeral next. And then we'll all be forgotten, won't we? Case closed. Well, there's still a trial. There won't be one, he admitted it. Ken Randall's only admitted manslaughter. I mean, he'll be tried for murder. There'll, there'll be a jury. He's trying to get out of it. Well, he'll still go to prison. It's not right. He has to go down for murder. He has to. What time's the funeral? Twelve. All right, son. Are you going to? Yeah, well, he's ex-job, isn't he? Sarah Randall's downstairs. She's with the solicitor. You've read the form, Sarah? Yes. So you understand that if you make a false statement, you're liable for prosecution. Is this really necessary? Yes. So? You're stating that on the evening your brother was killed, you met with Nick Fisher? Yes. I've got a copy of your original statement from 1996. There's no mention of Nick Fisher. In fact, you said you were home all evening. Can I remind you that was made when Miss Randall was only 13? Yeah, it's still a false statement now, isn't it? See, it's pretty obvious you're saying all these things to help your father's defence. Miss Randall's come forward to... I know, huh? That's a bit of a coincidence, don't you think? Sarah, if you're lying, you are perverting the course of justice. Do you understand how serious this is? But it's true. I did see Nick. So why only mention it now? They'd arrested Dyer. Everyone had said it was him. Dad had seen him. But you still lied. You said you were home all evening. But Dad didn't know I had a boyfriend. Let alone when he was 17. He'd have gone mad. So you lied to stop your father finding out? They had Terry Dyer locked up. I really didn't think Nick had done it. 
but you do now. When Nick left me, it was 20 minutes, at most half an hour before Mark died. Was he angry? Nick said he was going to have it out with Mark, make him leave us alone. What did you say? I tried to stop him, didn't I? To tell you the truth, I thought Mark might kill him. Where did you meet Nick? At home? Would have been way too risky. Sat in the little park. One next to the estate. How could Mark have found you then? It was a kid's place. He wouldn't have been seen dead there. Is there anyone else there? Just us. We sat on the roundabout for ages. We went round and round holding hands. Nick said he loved me. I thought he meant it. Maybe he did. Nick Fisher killed my brother. Nothing else matters. You can't know that, Sarah. Terry died, didn't do it. That's why he wanted to talk to Nick. Okay, Sarah, I'm going to leave you with Detective Sergeant Sancho, who's going to write everything down. And once he's finished, you can read the statement and make any changes you wish to, okay? That went well then, did it? Yeah. Dyer's bitchy solicitor is going to be all over this like a rash. And Sarah Randall blaming Nick? Yeah, she's going to say so in court. He'll get manslaughter, won't he? Yup. Right, I'm going over to the yard. Spread the joy. Tell Satch to meet me in the crematorium. Fish's alibi to stand up. And you had to do that during the guy's funeral? Yeah, well, I don't think I was messed, was I? So what happened? Well, the supermarket he worked at closed down. The bloke who gave him his alibi died six months ago. Oh, well, at least you tried. Yeah. I really think she's going to find this trial hard, hard, hard. Yeah, it'd be better if she stayed away altogether, wouldn't it? It's about the trial. Some things are going to get said. She's going to say Nick killed her brother? She can't actually say that. But she can make it sound like he did. They're going to use the underage relationship as well. That's mad. Nick wasn't much older than her. I found this when I was sorting through his things. Is that her? Yeah. He kept it all this time. Must have meant something to him. Look at them. You can tell he liked her. Nick wasn't just some nonce. I know, I know, I know that, Lee. I'll see you in court, yeah. 
you want anything, you just call me, yeah? Just take that, will you? Stupid little bitch. The last thing I want is that in the house. Mr Randall, you went to Nick Fisher's work to talk to him? Yes. And only to talk? Yes. So, how would you explain taking a kitchen knife with you? I wasn't going to use it. But you did, didn't you? You stabbed Nick Fisher ten times. Would you say that's a fair summary of your actions, Mr Randall? It wasn't like that. Mr Randall, you took a knife from home, you stabbed a man several times, which led to his death. Yes or no? Yes. Do you really expect the jury to believe that you didn't know what you were doing? You woke me up. I kept seeing Mark. But you knew exactly what you were doing. You knew you were going to kill Nick Fisher. No. I, I went to get him to confess. You've admitted you deliberately took a knife, so presumably you intended to use it for something. It was only if he wouldn't talk. You took the knife intending to threaten Nick Fisher, didn't you? If he wouldn't listen, yes. And he didn't? He, he laughed at me. Mr Fisher laughed? He only had to say he'd done it. So you tried to make him? Ten stab wounds. The pathologist has reported Deep, piercing wounds displaying a degree of force consistent with uncontrolled anger. Tell me about Mark. Mr. Randall, are you capable of continuing? Mr. Randall. I kept seeing my son dying. All he had to say was the truth. But he wouldn't, would he? I had to keep stopping him! My dead husband, Nick Fisher, the murderer and paedophile. Lee, let me take you out. No! Just fuck off and leave me alone. Lee! I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, maybe. Look, sit in the swings. That one. There. It's not there. The roundabout wasn't there when the photo was taken. Yeah, but maybe she just made a mistake. Oh, come on, mate. She's lying. In her statement, she said, we sat on the roundabout for ages, going round and round. Sarge, look at this. What year did Mark die? Nineteen ninety-six. She must be lying. Your father had recently discovered that you had a relationship with a victim when you were still at school. Is that correct? Yes. And when you were having this relationship, was it sexual? My lord, is this relevant, Miss Dyson? Absolutely. 
Was your relationship with Nick Fisher sexual, Sarah? Yes. Yes, it was. Yet you were only 13, weren't you? Yes. So you were underage. And how old was Nick Fisher? He was 17. Was I all right? You did very well. Your father would be proud. Enjoy that, did you? I was only telling the truth. You just stood up there and told the world my husband's a pervert. I didn't say that. You might as well have. If Nick's dead, I... What? So we can't argue back? Mrs Fisher, please leave this to us. Say, so I'd like you to come with us. Where to? To the police station. We need to ask you a few questions. This way. I meant the swings. You don't go round and round on swings. I didn't make it up. We have to stop this. We sat on the swings. It was like that. Do you realise how much trouble you're in, Sarah? What? You're perverting the course of justice. <laughs> Dad, believe me. You didn't meet Nick that night, did you? Did you? No. You want one? Hmm? We're going to charge her? I think we should keep going. Well, she's already admitted she lied. Yeah, I know. But why is she in so deep? Yeah. I'm sorry, all right? He didn't do it, yeah? It was lovely. Really gentle. I loved him. Your lie made Nick Fisher look like a killer, Sarah. You stood up in court and repeated it in front of his widow. I didn't mean for this to happen. Really? So why did you lie? For Dad. He was in bits. He needed to be sure he was right. What, that he was right to kill Nick? He was going mad not knowing. He thought it was Nick, but he wasn't sure. So you told your dad you'd seen him? I only did it so he could sleep at night. He was all over the place. I had to do something. I didn't know they'd make me say it in court. Really. Can I go? Please. I'm really sorry. Nick Fisher could have murdered your brother. No. Nick hated Mark, but he wouldn't do something like that. He'd been badly beaten up, humiliated in front of you. It wasn't him. How do you know? Nick had an alibi. Could have lied. He didn't. How can you be so sure? I just am. Sarah, the only way you could know Nick didn't kill your brother is if you know who did. It was Terry Dyer. Dad saw him. So why did you make the story up about Nick then? You're scared of your father, aren't you? No. I would be. I've seen him when he's angry. Especially when he's pissed. Dad would never hurt me. Yeah, it doesn't stop you being scared of him, though, does it? And Mark was the same as him, wasn't he? Yeah, he'd his father's temper, too. He beat your boyfriend up in front of you. That must have been quite something. I tried to stop him. Yeah, but he's bigger than you, isn't he? When he's four years older, about to go into the army. You didn't stand a chance. I had to go. Yeah, good for you. What'd your brother do? He slapped me about a bit. Nick couldn't stop him. Mark was only looking out for me. Bet you hated him for it. No, I love my brother. Yeah, but he was in a rage with you, wasn't he? Don't blame him, his baby sister. Giving him a showing up like that. It wasn't like that. Yeah, you deserve a slap though, didn't you? Having sex at 13, that's disgusting, Sarah. Bet Mark couldn't wait to tell your daddy. I begged him not to. He had no right. Yeah, he had every right, Sarah. You were his baby sister. You were shagging a grown man. I loved Nick. Yeah, but it was a real turn on for that pervert, wasn't it? A little girl <laughs> pouring all over him. No, Nick loved me. He told me he did. Was that before or after he fucked you? Stop it! Nick killed Mark, didn't he? No, I told you he didn't. You know what, Sarah? I think you were there. No! 
But you're sure he didn't do it? You've got to help me out with this one, sweetheart. How can you be so sure when you say you weren't with him? Maybe I was. <laughs> it's time to tell the truth, Sarah. Well, I am. The night your brother died, you weren't in the flat, were you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I don't think you can live with this any longer. You have to let it go. Come on. Trust me, Sarah. It's time. Tell me what happened. That night. Did you go out? I told Mark I was going to see a friend. Who you want to see, Nick? I wanted to know that he was all right. Mark ruined everything. He was worse than Dad. I rang, I rang Nick. He wouldn't even answer the phone. Yeah, and you needed to see him, didn't yeah. you? What happened then, sweetheart? Mark came after me. He was angry? Yes. Sarah! What's going on? No! You little slut, come on! It's like that! How did you get the bottle? When I fell. Was it on the ground? I mean it, Mark. Home! Now! <laughs> Shit, Mark. Terry died. was just trying her out. Then Dad arrived. He screamed at Dyer. You bastard! Get off him! Dyer ran. Mark died. No! No! Stay with me. Stay with me. There was blood. There was so much blood. It was an accident, sir. No. I wanted to hurt him. I hated him. But you didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> Why didn't you tell your father? He was so sure of what he'd seen. Everyone was. They thought it was Dyer. They hated him. So much hate. They said what they, they'd do to him if they got hold of him. Everyone was hugging me because of Mark dying. I wanted to tell them the truth, but the house was full. People saying how sorry they were. No one asked me. <laughs> Please don't tell my dad. Please. <laughs> Yeah, nothing a fag won't help. Look, um, Mike. Such. Let it go. Let's just hope we both learned something. No, you hang back. This one's down to me.
members of the jury, you are still in charge of the defendant. In a moment, I will ask one of you, the foreman, to stand. The defendant in this matter has indicated he wishes to change his plea. Therefore, I direct you to find the defendant guilty. Will the foreman please stand? Do you find the defendant, Kenneth Peter Randall, by direction of the court, guilty of the murder of Nicholas Fisher? Yes. And is that the verdict of you all? Yes. This is a tragic case, Mr. Randall, and I have some sympathy for your actions. However, there is only one sentence I can give. You will be sent to prison for life. Take him down. I'm sorry. I know it's not enough. I am. Um.